welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the Renaissance card over there. So there's, it looks like you're reviving something from the past, uh, some kind of project or, you know, something that you've always wanted to do. Uh, you're going back to the past, doing a lot of research, uh, putting a lot of effort into it, maybe, um, you know, uh, studying further on that particular uh, project. And uh, you're going to be making that um, you know, your focus right now, and it's going to be something that generates a lot of abundance for you there. So it's going to produce a lot of returns. You can see there's a lot of dates on that tree over there. So you're focusing your energy uh, on something that you've wa always wanted to do or a project that you haven't finished in the past, and you're going back and reviving it as well. So whatever you're doing is groundbreaking over there. You've got the Argonaut over there, so making this new journey uh, and starting off something brand new over there. And it's also, you know, regeneration as well of something old. Uh, but whatever it is that you're doing, uh, despite the fact that maybe people are not quite uh, on board with, the, with your ideas, uh, you are very determined to make this particular thing uh, work. And um, it looks like, uh, you know, something unexpected has happened, uh, you know, recently. There might have been some kind of information that came in that or some kind of event that happened uh, that stirred up a lot of issues over there. So uh, it looks like you've got all your energies focused on your career. And you're able to deal with anything unexpected that has come your way there. And it looks like, you know, you're working now quite diligently on this particular project. There's a lot of communication as well going on over there. You might also be doing a lot of travel with regards to this particular thing that you're doing. So in the past, you've got the temperance card over here. So that's trying to get that balance back again, taking advice from people, seeking out all, uh, all the different options that you had available to you. You know, this is almost like weighing the pros and cons, blending old ideas with the new ideas as well with that temperance card. So you are digging into the past, using a lot from the past uh, to um, to fuel this particular project that you're working on. You also seem to be, you know, um, the one that's in charge and seem to be in the spotlight as well with regards to this particular project. So uh, it looks like, you know, maybe people have been causing or stirring up a little bit of problems. And, uh, you know, you've been sorting it out. So getting rid of any obstacles or problems, you're very determined to sort this out. So whatever problems are going on, you are sorting them out. And uh, you're not listening to anybody or what anybody's got to say. You are very determined and you are going to make this work. So going to the future, you've got the purification card over here. And this is about, again, blending, uh, you know, all the old with the new over there. And this is going to be the thing that generates, uh, you know, the finances. So there is something that you are reviving. You're having to do a lot of research. You're putting a lot of effort into it. It's something groundbreaking as well, some new idea coming in over here. And it's going to, like I said, bring in a lot of finances with that fish over there. And you've got a lot of art and science going on over there. So there's a lot of research that you do have to do. It might be something very technical, you know, maybe it's a new take on something uh, nobody has ever thought about it before but you're managing to do that but it's it's requiring you to do a lot of research it's very you know it's requiring a lot of logic and a lot of structure as well and uh, a lot of um, you've got a little monkey over there so you have to be uh, you know on your toes uh, and uh, very smart about things so you're, you, you know you're having a lot of mental agility is being needed for this particular project that you're doing so those are the energies for those two weeks Right, so I'm just going to be do using the Book of Shadows tarot for the main read. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Swords. So you've had this brilliant idea that has come through to you. And, uh, you know, you are going to be uh, pursuing that particular idea. It's something, um, you know, never thought of before. Um, and this is also, uh, a, you know, the Ace of Swords is about beginning this new idea, putting it forward, communicating it very, very clearly. And you're working very, very hard at it. And it's something very cutting edge as well. 
and it's giving you a lot of power in your hand. Now it's allowing you to also sever ties of the past, make a clean break from the past and move forward. So it's something really good and it's something really groundbreaking that you're going to be involved in. It might be something that's very scientific as well, very, very um, uh, logical thought is needed with that. So very clear thinking needed with that particular project. Now it looks like you've ended an old job there. So you've got that Ten of Pentacles. It seems like you've finished off some kind of old cycle or some kind of old job. It looks like maybe you have had a payoff from this particular job as well. And now you're going to start this new project or this new idea that you have, you're putting into, uh, bringing it out into reality over there. You've been doing a lot of work on it with that Knave of Wands. You can see this man sitting with his computer over there. So a lot of research is going into this uh, particular project. You've been doing uh, a lot of study and spending a lot of time by yourself as well. So you're very, very focused on this particular work uh, and uh, or this particular um, new idea that you have and you want to bring that into fruition. You want that to generate finances as well. So you're very, very focused on it. So, uh, you know, you're taking all that experience you had and you're focusing it on this particular new, new project. In the past, you've had the Nine of Wands where you had a lot of responsibility in this old work. Uh, maybe, you know, it's tired you out. You've had also been dealing with a lot of difficult people or difficult um, problems, uh, and that's kept you up at night. Uh, maybe it hasn't been generating a lot of finances, this old job that you had, and maybe this is the reason why you're leaving it and walking away from it. Uh, you've got that Ace of Swords, so you're definitely cutting ties with that old past, and you're moving on to something brand new. Uh, and it looks like, you know, it's kept you awake at night, a lot of problems, a lot of issues, uh, trying to sort out many things and being very, very tired about, uh, you know, all that work has stressed you out. So uh, in the past few months, you've been doing a lot of research. You can see going through a lot of papers over here, filing systems. So there's something from the past that you've been going through, some kind of research, uh, some kind of information that you've been looking for. You've been seeking solutions or even seeking the truth, as they say with this card. But definitely doing a lot of research, uh, trying to find out. And maybe this is uh, why you've got that uh, Ace of Swords over here. So uh, this was your aha moment. And, you know, you are now focused on uh, bringing this project uh, to light. Now, on your mind, you've got the Sun card over here. So a lot of your effort and energy is going in. Uh, you plan on doing a lot of work and you want whatever you're doing to be an absolute success. So your mind is very, very focused on this particular work and you're seeking clarity. Uh, so, uh, you know, and there's a lot of uh, people that you uh, know, it seems, uh, that you will be collaborating with. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, starting off, maybe you're starting off some kind of new business and you have a lot of contacts or you made a lot of contacts in the past and are you going to be presenting this particular idea to them and maybe starting off on your own, on your own starting off independently and, uh, you know, um, this is going to be quite successful or you're hoping that it is going to be very successful. So you have cut ties with whatever it is that you had been doing in the past. So you've got two tens over here. So cutting ties with that old job over here and also there's been a lot of drama and problems in that old job. Uh, you're reinventing yourself. She's got the phoenix on her hand over there, emerging from the ashes. Whatever problems there were, even if there were legal issues, it seems like you're turning and walking away from it and going off to start off by yourself. It looks like you may have had even a legal victory over here with this Ace of Swords. So uh, what's happening with you? Got the Three of Cups. So lots of celebrations over here. Getting together with old friends and maybe even uh, new collaborations coming in for you there. So you're networking quite a bit over here with this Three of Cups. And you're very determined. You've got the strength card, which is ruled by Leo. Um, and so you are determined. You're moving forward. And you're, you're, you know, you're not going to let anything uh, break your stride. So you are very determined to be successful at whatever it is you're starting. Uh, you've got uh, the high priestess in your hopes and fears. So you're waiting for things to change. Uh, you know, maybe you're looking for ways and means, looking for a different path, looking or seeking information. This is also about doing a lot of self-reflection as well and relying a lot on your instincts uh, to get things done. Um, and, uh, you know, following that intuition as well. Uh, you know, there might be a little bit of confusion going on over there. You might feel a bit, um, you know, not having that much of confidence but it looks like, you know, if you just keep going, you will be successful. So this is just in your hopes and fears. So going into the future, you've got uh, the Six of Pentacles over here, the Devil card, and you've got the Queen of Wands. So the Six of Pentacles is whatever it is that you are going to be starting, whatever new project, 
is going to be uh, generating finances. So you will get financial support or you will get well paid for this particular job there. Uh, so, you know, there will be some, maybe there'll be a benefactor who comes in and, and helps you out financially, or you might even get that loan that you've been going for. Um, you know, whatever it is, is going to bring in that money for you. People, somebody is going to come and give you any kind of, uh, come and give you financial support, or you will get paid pretty well for whatever this idea is that you have. But you're going to have to work pretty hard with it. Um, you've got the devil card over here, and this is a card ruled by Saturn. This is talking about working really hard in order for you to get your ice cream and the cherry on the top. So it's something that you're going to be chained to this particular job. And if you're going on, on your own and starting your own business, the initial part of it usually is something where you have to put in extra hours or extra work in, and that will generate what you need. Uh, but it is something that's going to take a lot of your time, and it's going to be you know, almost all-consuming over there. Uh, it's going to di dictate uh, you know, uh, the length of your day or you know, whether you get enough sleep or rest or whether you even get a holiday. So it's going to be something that really consumes you. It's going to be something that you're going to have to be very focused on in order for you to be successful. But you are very much in your element over there. It looks like, you know, whoever's, if anybody's interfering, you're sorting them out over there. Uh, you're not taking any problems and you're managing to deal with any kind of drama. You're nipping it in the bud right now. The uh, Queen of Fortune, it, uh, the Queen of Wands is your card, so you are very much in control, very much in charge. Uh, you're coming across as a very dynamic person and a very, um, uh, you know, people are very attracted to you and your energy is very, very high at this particular moment uh, and they will take leadership from you. But it is also a card that speaks about needing to follow your instincts um, and, you know, um, going by what you believe in. So this is going to be your project and it seems like, you know, you're going to have to uh, put all that effort into it and it's going to be successful. Uh, whatever you have is a very, very good idea. It's a very, very good plan. Um, or whatever that idea is going to be groundbreaking, like I said, or cutting edge right now. And it will produce uh, success. Uh, you know, but you're going to have to work at it and you're going to have to learn everything you know about that particular field, uh, be on top of your game uh, in order for you to be successful at it. Networking is very, very important. Uh, you've got that three of cups over there, so going out there and meeting people, maybe even throwing parties or, uh, you know, with that sun card of here, getting people together uh, so that they, uh, so that you can present your idea to them will be the thing that generates uh, interest and um, money. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the fairy oracle, uh, fairy tarot for the oracle read. So this is pretty good. You've got the Empress card over here, which says, time to take action, the power of creativity and success that allows for a life of luxury. So whatever idea you have, whatever idea you're giving birth to, the Empress is about giving birth to an idea, it's going to be very, very successful and bring in a lot of finance and a lot of wealth. So it's a really good idea that you have or a really good vision that you have. You've been guided to do this, so look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So you're coming out of those difficulties, you're moving away from it, and you can see that with that Ten of Swords, getting away from anything difficult, any problems, uh, dramas, conflicts that you've been going through, and you've been guided to do that. So just keep a positive attitude, be optimistic. And the final card is the Two of Spring, which is a bright uh, future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams and great progress being made. So a good partnership coming in over there. So you will be able to attract the people to you. Like I said, maybe you need to throw some kind of uh, social event in order for you to attract the right people so that you can present your ideas too and so that you can even get better benefactors or people that support you financially as well especially with that six of um, pentacles you do need to attract money in uh, and it looks like it will come but maybe you need to get into a partnership or even throw social gatherings or some kind of social event in order for people to be aware of what you're actually doing so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.